How to draw a rose Roses are very popular flowers, commonly seen as a symbol of love. They're very difficult to draw, though, they're made of many layers of petals. You need to add them carefully one by one, and then shade the whole construction. In this quick tutorial I will show you how to do it if you want to build your own rose from scratch, without relying on a reference. Step 1 Start by drawing a teardrop slash egg shape with a hard pencil. Use very light lines. This will be the inner bud of the rose. Step 2 Draw the opening of the shape. Step 3 Draw little petals inside. Step 4 Close those petals into a heart shape. This will be the outline of other petals. Step 5 Connect the outline with the rest of the bud, creating a petal shape. Step 6 One more heart attached to the bud. Step 7 One more time draw the heart shape, but this time make it less regular and more open. The lines connecting it with the bud will create an effect of depth if you lead them correctly. Step 8 We need one more petal on this level. It will have a more complicated perspective, so look carefully. Step 9 We need to place the bud inside a cup of petals. First make it out of small petals then use larger ones. Step 10 The rest of the petals should bend more and more down. Step 11 When you're done, press harder over the lines you want to see better to bring out the final shape. Step 12 Take a softer pencil and shade the inner parts of the rose. First draw lightly then press harder to achieve a darker shade. Step 13 Use the same pencil to slightly stress some edges of the petals. Don't draw all over them. Step 14 Go back to a hard pencil and use it to add a subtle texture to the illuminated parts. The darker your rose, the darker you can go here. Step 15 Take the softest pencil and finish shading with it, putting it in the darkest crevices. Beautiful! You have drawn a beautiful rose. If you would like to publish it on the internet, make sure you prepare the skin slash photo properly first. Step 15 Take the softest pencil and finish shading with it, putting it in the darkest crevices.